Hey, if you like my videos, you might also like my comedy series, YouTube Blue, which premieres every Saturday on the YouTube Blue YouTube channel. Go check out the link in the description and the card above to watch the latest episode. Now on with the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen my review of WandaVision Episode 1, check that out. So, let's talk about Episode 2. From my perspective, you can really tell when you watch this episode why they decided to release two episodes at once. Neither one of these episodes have very much action or plot relevance, so premiering them both at the same time makes it feel like there's a little bit more there. There is a little more stuff hinting at where this is going in the episode though. Apparently the first three episodes or so are really slow builds, which personally I don't mind, though as I said in my review of last episode, I could see Marvel fans being upset at the MCU finally coming back with two episodes that aren't very Marvel-esque. So WandaVision isn't exactly the best thing to open phase 4 after a year and a half without Marvel, but despite that, I still really like this show. Similarly to the first episode, the charm of this episode is in the accuracy of the sitcom they're pastiching. It's slightly more updated than the previous episode, now being more of a 60s sitcom with different lighting and staging, a slightly different sense of humor, and a more 60s plot. For example, unlike the last episode, which was shot pretty much entirely on a soundstage with a live studio audience, this one has more studio sets and location footage with a laugh track added mostly in post. Like the last episode, there's not much here in terms of hints toward the future. But there is some stuff in here if you're into that. So a color helicopter appears, which to me at least is supposed to not only reveal that something strange is going on and that everything here is fake, but also takes on a new meaning on a second viewing. Because the episode ends with everything turning in color. Uh, it feels like that helicopter was almost like an asset that glitched into existence earlier than it was supposed to. There was also that big tease at the end. though. I'm sure you've already read 10 comicbook.com articles about it, so I'm not really going to talk about that. So, the big reveal in this episode specifically that I only really realized while watching this was that this clearly isn't a whole alternate reality setup for Wanda. I didn't really think about it until this episode, but clearly there are multiple people trapped in whatever this is. Now if I actually had a brain, I would have realized this earlier, but in this episode it's confirmed in universe. Tayana Paris makes her debut in the series as Monica Rambeau, who if you don't know was the little girl in Captain Marvel. She's adopted many alter egos as a superhero, the most recent one being Spectrum. Though if you didn't know that, I wouldn't be surprised, given that Currently, she goes by the name Geraldine in WandaVision. So based on that and the fact that we already know there will be at least two more MCU characters that will be in this show, though if you know them, you know at least one of them could be outside the illusion, then it's clear that Wanda isn't the only one trapped where she is. And that's really all there is to say about this episode. Not that it was boring or anything, in fact I really enjoyed it. It's just that this is a Marvel review, so I'm not really equipped to seriously review what is essentially an episode of a sitcom. I talk about what's relevant to Marvel, and there's just not much Marvel to talk about in the first few episodes. Though that will pick up as the series goes on. But yeah, WandaVision Episode 2. What did you think about it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.